you end up with similar equation. But it looks something like this. Just change velocity component x to y. And then the momentum component here will be changed to y. Okay? And for z momentum, you get very much similar things. Okay, so this one would be Z momentum. Now we have three equations. Can we combine three equations together? Each equation here every members or every variables is a uh, scalar okay but you have scalar component vx component vx vy vz we can combine vx vy vz into vector like this you have vx vy vz it can be combined into vector so the terms on the left hand side you can combine these three terms and represent it. I can write down something like this. d by dt of rho v. This one would be vector instead. This single term represents these three terms. Right? Same thing here. For the second term, the term within the parenthesis, you can, you can think like this. It looks like differentiation with respect to x, y, and z of each component and sum them together. This kind of thing looks just like dot product. Okay? It's just like dot product. Dot of del, which is operator differentiation dotted with phi okay however you have phi xx xy and xz phi itself is not vector it's a tensor okay so when you combine these nine components together you end up like this del dotted with tensor phi minus signs up front okay again normally when you have vector dotted with another vector the result is scalar and scalar is a reduction of the di dimension or di direction in one direction you have vector which has one direction, dot with another vector, you get the result to be scalar, no direction. If you have, this one is vector, dotted with tensor. Tensor has two directions. The result here would be vector. Okay? So these two combines, you get a vector. This vector is consisting of three components. The first component is here. This is second component and third component. All right. Last term would be rho, which is scalar. And then gx, g1, gz can be combined into another vector. All right. Now, but this term, phi term, is not what we normally prefer. We would prefer something that can be related to velocity. So we're going to say that phi itself 
is the combined flux. Combined flux is consisting of the convective flux rho VV and molecular flux. Molecular flux is represented by two terms, pressure term and shear stress term or tau. See, this one is tensor, I use two lines. This one is vector and vector combined together, everything, the whole thing becomes tensor. This is tensor, this is another tensor. If you plug it in here, you get this equation. Okay, del dotted with the whole thing here. You can take del to each term. So del dot the first term, you get this one. Del dot the second term, this one fortunately is a tensor with one in a diagonal direction. So del dot that direction, you end up with del P. It's not dot anymore, okay? And then the last term, you have del dot tau plus rho g. Okay? Now, if you take this part to this side, differentiation with respect to T plus this term, it can be proved to be substantial derivative of velocity by dt times rho equal to minus del P minus all right this equation here has a name as well it is called equation of motion You may think that writing equation in term of vector is very complicated. It's not familiar. It's unfamiliar. Okay? But we have to do this just because once you learn, I mean, if you apply the knowledge about vector to each term, then you can write down this equation for every um, possible unit, I mean possible system. Like you can apply this equation to Cartesian, to cylindrical or spherical coordinate without deriving it again. Remember, right now we start from Cartesian system. Our shell looks like a box, so it is based on rectangular coordinate. We define everything and then generalize them to vector form. Once you obtain the vector form, then you can rewrite this equation in any kind of system, in any kind of coordinate system. So from this, you can write down three equations like this for cylindrical coordinate, and another three equations for spherical coordinate. When you apply them or when you use it in real problem, we will not use vector form. We will use this kind of form that is ready to be used, okay? These three equations are listed in your appendix B in the textbook already. All right?
Now, the point is, even though this equation has a name, it is very important, but it is not applicable at this moment because tau itself is not in terms of velocity yet. We still want to convert everything into velocity. Okay? So by using equation of motion and then applying Newtonian law or Newton law, okay? This is special case. If you apply Newton law to tau and then assume by 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 definition of new, Newtonian fluid or fluid that apply or comply to Newton laws, it means that that fluid is supposed to have viscosity to be constant. Okay? Constant viscosity. If you also assume constant density, okay, then you can simplify this equation and convert tau into velocity easily. In detail, there's about two pages of mathematical derivation. I'm not going through that. I'm going to give you the resulting equation. If you are interested in that detail, you can write, you can read it in, your, in, in the handout, or somehow you can try to do it by yourself. Okay? Now, if I apply new, new the law to this equation, the left hand side remains the same. Remember, this is substantial derivative. We have three kinds of derivative, partial derivative, total derivative, and substantial derivative. The meanings of each one I already described, right? The first term on the right hand side remains the same. There are pressure. The second term here, if you plug in new, Newton law, you can write down tau here using Newton law as a function of v. Okay? You get mu Laplacian of v. And then the last term looks something like this. This equation is a simplified version of equation of motion. This equation can be used only when these two assumptions can be applied. Okay? This equation has a name as well. It is called Navier-Stokes equation. It is very famous equation for um, fluid flow. <laughs>